Hi parents, I'm Spectrum News meteorologist Kaylee Wendt and I know things have been stressful the last several days and actually the last few weeks. I as a meteorologist cannot do all that much but I thought about it and I think a way that I can help you is to come up with some lesson plans that you can go over with your kids as I know many of you have turned into teachers the last few days. So I want to start out with what is wind and simply stated it is air in motion. Now meteorologists use a tool called an anemometer to measure the wind. Now what exactly are we looking for? Well the answer is both speed and direction and during these spring like months that has a lot to do with thunderstorms and rain events but during the winter both of these are used pretty closely to look at lake effect snow. Now what exactly causes wind? Well, we've got an area of low pressure and this makes air weigh a little bit less. That of course causes air to rise. Well, something has to take its place. So cold air tends to move in. Now that motion, that is what causes winds to develop. So it's a little bit complicated, but when you break it down like that, I think the kiddos will be able to pick it up. Now how you can relate this in this week? Well, we've got a high wind watch in effect for all of these areas shaded in this mustard yellow color. That starts Friday morning and goes through Friday afternoon. So a lot of kids tend to be scared of wind because of those creepy noises it makes when it blows through or damage that it can cause. And this is a way you can break it down for them so they know what's coming our way as we move into Friday. I hope this helps. Stay safe.